So we've gone over a lot of things in our types tutorials. We've covered creating content types, creating views, creating content templates, and creating cred forms. There's just a couple more things I want to cover in this series. The next thing I want to show you how to do is if you're allowing users to submit content to your site, we want to give them a way potentially to view the content that, they, that, that they've submitted and also give them a way to edit it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new page and we're going to call it my content. So this would be the page that we're going to use to allow people to see and then edit their content. So I'm just going to publish that page. I'm going to leave it alone for now. And then I'm going to go into my views and I'm going to create a new view and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to call that my content. And we'll go into full custom display mode and click on create view. Actually, I already had a sample one when I was testing this. So we'll say user user content, right? And then we'll create the view. So just like in our other views, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to click the content selection and I'm going to combine all of my content into one. You can do this separately if you want to have, you know, either different views or something like that. But uh, what I want to do is I'm going to do restaurants and reviews. That way they can select what would, you know, all of their content that they can view and then they can edit it. But like I said, you could separate this into separate pages or separate sections of a page if you wanted to, uh, but just for time's sake, I'm going to combine them. So this page is going to list off any reviews that they've submitted and also any restaurants that they've submitted. And the first thing I'm going to do is go to our query filters and I'm going to add a filter and I'm going to filter by post author and click on add query filter. And then I'm going to leave it as this first option, which is post author is the same as the logged in user. And basically what that's going to do is when they go to this view, they're only going to be able to see content that they've authored. There's no way for them using this view to view or edit content from any other user. So it's really just a great filter to use because basically it's whoever's looking at this page. I'm going to show that person their content, right? So we're querying out. So only the person's content that is looking at the page is going to display. And then we're going to go down here and I'm going to go to my loop wizard. And for this, I think we can just make a let's do a table. I think that'll be the easiest and we'll click on next. And then we're going to add fields for our post title and we will add a field. Let's say, let's see if there's anything else we want to do in here. Maybe a post date. And let's do post type. That way they can see if it's a restaurant or a review. So just something like that. I mean, you can, you can kind of go as complicated as you'd like with this, but I just want to go to a simple table and then we're going to go to our, uh, loop item in user content and we can set up our table any way we want. So we're going to save that for now and let's just insert that. We're not done yet, but I just want to show you basically what that's going to look like first, right? So we'll go into my content and we're going to insert the view. So we'll go down to post view and we'll do user content. We'll insert the short code, update our page. And then we'll take a look at it. And basically, this should be just a table of the content that I've submitted. And in this case, I've submitted both restaurants and a review. And so you can see, I can see the title of my content. I can see the kind of content it is, and I can see the date that I submitted it. And of course, you can clean up this table. If I go back to my view, you know, we can put in table headings and anything else like that you, that you want to do. Uh, maybe I'll, if I can, I'll put in some basic table uh, HTML so you can check that out. Um, but it's, it's fairly simple. It's fairly straightforward. Just a table here and we can see it. But what we want to do now is add in an edit link for these, this different content. So if I, I'm just looking at my content and then I can edit it. So in order to do that, the first thing we need to do is create those edit forms. All right. And I will delete this just because that's the one I did earlier and I will create it again. So we'll click on add new. So this is a cred form to edit content. So we're going to do edit restaurant form. We'll click on next. And then basically this is pretty much the same as when you were creating cred forms. The only difference is we're going to change this option to edit existing content and then select the kind of content. And then again, this is going to be up to you about whether you want it to be automatically published again, if they've updated it, or if you want it to go back to review or however you want to set that up. And then we'll show them a message again. 
Thank you for updating your content. Same options down here and click on next. And then I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm gonna open up my submit restaurant form because I essentially want the form to be the same, right? So I'm gonna edit my submit restaurant and I'm just gonna copy and paste my tags. That way I don't have to redo it, right? So we'll go back to our submit restaurant form. I pop in my form. I click on next. I can set up email notifications if I'd like, and then I'm gonna click finish and save post form. And now I'm going to do the same thing for my review form so we can edit our reviews. So I'm gonna click on add new and we're gonna do edit review form. Click on next. And then we will select edit existing content. We'll select our review post type. We will publish it. We will display a message. Our same options. And I'm gonna cheat again. We'll go to post forms. We'll go to submit review and copy and paste that in. I mean, you could certainly change the form as well if there are certain options you wanted to hide. This is just a little bit quicker. So I click on next and I will finish and then save my post form. So now I have two edit forms. I have one for restaurants and I have one for reviews. And I just wanna check my restaurant form to make sure that I have set that to automatically publish. Yes, I did. All right, so now we have our edit uh, review form and we have our edit restaurant form and what we need to do now is create a content template and essentially what we're doing is we're creating a content template for the edit screen of the of the post type so we're going to go to content templates and we are going to click add new and we're going to type in edit restaurant and click on create content template And then we're gonna click on cred forms and we're gonna do our edit restaurant form. And we'll do edit current post, all right? And we will update. And then we're going to create a second one for our reviews. So we're gonna add new. We're gonna click on edit review form, create content template. And we're going to insert our review form. So now that we have our content templates created, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into our view that we created, and we're going to go to our user content. So now we're in our user content field, and what I would like to do is I'm going to create an edit link that's gonna show up on this table, but I'm also gonna show you something else, which is the conditional output, because I've combined my reviews and my restaurants, and we're gonna to need to show a different link, depending or use one or either of the content templates, depending on which con kind of content it is, right? So I'm gonna go down to our fields and views, and I'm just going to add another uh, table line or table row, and I'm gonna click on cred forms, and I'm going to click on edit restaurant form, and I'm gonna do edit current post in the loop. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy this entire thing and paste it below it. And I'm going to change this one from our restaurant review to our uh, edit review form, or sorry, our edit restaurant form. And I'm gonna change that to our edit review form. And so what this is gonna do is in this section, the edit link is gonna be for restaurants and in this section, it's going to be for reviews. So what I need to do is do conditional output and I'm going to say types field or sorry, uh, view short codes. And I've go down to WB, uh, the post type. So if the post type is restaurant, and I'm gonna use that from my slug. So if it's equal to restaurant, then it will show this. I'll go below it and close it. And then I'm going to do conditional output. And if my post type is review, 
it will show this and then I'll close that. So using conditional logic with type or with the views is a little bit more complex, but you can see basically what I'm doing is saying, you know, and you can look through all those conditions and I'll link to the documentation for it. But basically if it's a restaurant, I want it to show the row with the edit restaurant form. If it is a review, I want to show it with the review form. So let's save that and take a look at our page. So we'll look at my content. Ah, I was, all right, I made a little bit of a mistake here. What we need to do, so I made a little bit of a mistake there. It's I inserted the wrong short code. So I need to replace this. It's not under cred forms, right? We need to go to fields and views and go down to cred editing and do cred edit post link. Select my co uh, content template and we'll do restaurant and insert short code. And then we're gonna do the same thing down here for reviews. We're gonna replace that fields and views and we're gonna go credit, edit, post the link, and we're gonna select the review form and insert the short code, and then we will update it. Refresh our page. And so now what we have is we have an edit link, right? And so we're showing edit and then the name of the post. And if I click on this, it gives me the information that I can edit it. It loads up my content and I can change it and submit it. And that's how we have an edit link. So we've created content templates so that we know this is what we wanna see. And we can also edit that. So if you wanted to show some of the information or put some instructions in there, we can edit that content template. But essentially what we need to do to create this is to create a view which has the filter, which filters it to whoever's looking at the page and it's gonna show them their content. So that's the first thing we did. Uh, second, we set up our little table here. Then we create our edit forms for both or for whatever kind of post content we want to include. Then we create our content templates, one for each edit form. And then we come down here and we add that form in by going to fields and views and clicking on the edit post link and selecting the right kind. This conditional output is only if you're gonna be dealing with multiple types of content in one view. So I wanted to combine restaurants and reviews into one list. So if I go to my content, I wanted everything in one list. If you wanted to separate that, then you know you wouldn't have to do that conditional output. You would just use separate views for each and then put those in separately in the My Content page, right? So we create one view, one edit form, one content template, and we would put that view in the My Content page. We would just insert the first view, you know, so we could do something like, you know, restaurant content, put in our restaurant view, and then review content, right? And then put in the second view. So in that case, we wouldn't need to use the conditional output, but I like to kind of combine all that stuff into one. And so basically I will link the documentation about conditional output. Um, but basically it says if this, because remember this is a loop, right? So what this is going to show is it's showing this for each item. And so the first thing it's doing is it's checking if it's going to be a restaurant. If it is, it's going to output this row. If it's not, it's gonna go down to the next one. So if it's a review, it's gonna output this row. So you can get even more complex with your views and stuff like that by using conditional output in the loop item. And so for this case, I've had it check what kind of post type it is and then output with the different, with the specific post link that it's going to need using the content templates I set up. So I'm always showing the right kind of edit, or the edit page, right? So now if I go, so i able to edit this one, this is a review and it goes, it brings up that review content template, which loads up the review edit form. And then if I go to my restaurant, it does the same thing. And again, you can see all my fields are here and I can update it and stuff like that. So that's a really neat way to have kind of a my content page for your users. That way they can edit and manage their own content. And again, they can do all of this without ever entering the WordPress admin and you can give them all the different kind of options. And so there's a lot of stuff you can do with that. And that is displaying user content. In the last video, we're going to cover access, which is how we set up permissions and show you know who can do what and what users have access to what forms.